Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, sister. So you've written in about some difficulties that you're facing um, with a child that will soon be your stepson, inshallah, um, who is presenting with some very difficult behavior and that's causing difficulties for you. And you're just looking some, for some advice with this. So I just want to begin by making a very brief point. I know this is not the focus, um, but since the matter relates to um, a relationship with somebody who is not actually your husband, I just want to say that I'm not advocating for this because um, this kind of relationship is not okay. But I know this is not the focus of the query, so I'm not going to um, kind of dwell on this matter because the focus here is the child and your relationship with him. And, you know, inshallah, you'll marry, um, you'll marry this man and he will become your stepson at this point. So it's very important to address this matter. So at the moment, he's presenting um, with some difficulties. You think it could be a result of, um, you know, what he has been through to now and the way he is treated by other people. And yes, you're quite right. This often, um, this mixed message that he might have been receiving from people along the way, how, you know, perhaps his misunderstanding or lack of understanding about what the truth actually is has caused people to compensate for this and maybe spoil him. And this could quite rightly be the reason for his behaviours. But at the same time, um, children of this age do tend to go through this type of conflict as they're entering an age now where they have a bit more independence and they like this independence because now they have some responsibilities in their life that they didn't before and that's part of the the journey to adulthood so obviously this is the stage where children start you know coming across as perhaps defiant as they exercise these new responsibilities and this new independence so it wouldn't necessarily be unique to um, this child in this case because it happens commonly regardless of whether they have a very strong upbringing with loving parents who treat them well or whether they've come from a broken background I guess the, diff the differences really come from the way the child manages these feelings and in this case it would seem um, that this child is not managing them very well um, so, and this is what perhaps is causing him to be especially defiant. And the fact that he is receiving mixed messages and different messages in terms of the way he is treated in your home, the way he's treated by aunts and uncles, and this is um, giving mixed messages to him as well. So moving forward and making things easier for you, um, what I would suggest is, you know, you, you did mention that there have been times where you've had to kind of loosen your boundaries, perhaps. But I would suggest that, I, and I know it maybe is because you feel like, you know, his aunties and his grandparents are doing the same. And so sometimes you feel you have to. Um, but I would suggest, you know, uh, being consistent um, with your attitude towards him in the home, regardless of how others treat him outside. You know, obviously he, you know, your home is the same home. And if you maintain the same boundaries in the house that he comes to every day without, you know, uh, without forsaking these boundaries, then this lets him know that these are the boundaries in the house that I live. And, you know, I can't step out of these boundaries that, you know, maybe he can outside, maybe he can in his aunt's place, in his grandparents' house. But these are the rules in the house in which he lives and he cannot step over these boundaries. And you need to, you know, kind of be firm and consistent with this and try not to, even though it might feel at times that this is going to um, spoil your relationship with him. And obviously you have, you know, every interest in trying to establish a strong relationship with him because he is the child of your soon-to-be husband and you want to have good relationships within the home because you want it to be a happy home for yourself, you want it to be a happy home for your relationship, for this child, you know, so, but you need to establish these boundaries and let him know, you know, what's right and wrong and this, this helps to prevent mixed messages at least within the home in which he lives. Maybe when he goes out from his teachers and everybody else he'll get different messages but he knows these are the rules he needs to follow in the house in which he lives. But at the same time, you must remember as well, and I'm sure you know this too, um, given your background in teaching, aside from maintaining the boundaries, which is very important, establishing a loving relationship with him as well. And this can be done um, by, especially for you, you know, that you haven't had this relationship with him up until his, you know, let's say middle childhood. 
you know, learning what it is that he likes to do and taking an interest in that, whether you like it or, you know, whether you don't, whether it's something far from what you would ever think about doing for his own sake, learn to enjoy it or at least give him the time or, you know, give him some attention relating to that thing that he particularly enjoys doing. Show interest in it. And this will help to develop a relationship with him based on this shared interest or, you know, shared passion and connection through something that he likes and this will make it easier to develop strong connections with him through something that he enjoys rather than perhaps something that you might have be encouraging him to do that he's not interested in so start with something that that he is interested in maybe you could help him to develop interest in other things as well but for now whilst you're trying to establish that relationship and establish the boundaries in the home you know focus on things that he really loves to do as well so, um, yeah, like I said, overall, um, you know, you're not you, you're not his parent and you don't have rights over him in that way, but he does have to respect you as his elder. So, um, you know, and he's living now. And Alhamdulillah, you have the support of your husband, which will be very helpful. So even if, you know, they're breaking the boundaries that you set um, outside in his grandparents' house, in the school or whatever, you can establish it in the house because you have the support of your husband, who's his father, who ultimately gets the say over his welfare and his, you know, um, you know what he does at the end of the day. So Alhamdulillah, that will be really helpful moving forward as well. So may Allah reward you for your concern over him and trying to raise him, even though he's not your own child, to raise him in the best way, you know, to be the best he can be. So Alhamdulillah, you're doing all the right things. I know it's a struggle. May Allah reward you for that. And may he guide you. May he make it easy for you. And may he support you in doing so. And may he, may this child grow up to be an Allah-fearing boy, to be an Allah-fearing young man. Um, who will be the coolness of your eyes, of your husband's eyes, and of the eyes of the family, who will be a blessing to you in both this life and the next. <laughs>